Hi, so we've been talking about the Pledge of Allegiance all school year long, and we've been learning patriotic songs. And now it's time to take a look at actually the words in the Pledge of Allegiance and notice how many sight words are in there. There's a lot of words in there you actually know. And we're also going to talk about the flag today, the good old Star Spangled Banner. Okay, you're gonna take this paper out of your black folder so that we can talk about the Pledge of Allegiance. We're gonna talk about these sight words in the Pledge of Allegiance, and we're going to also talk about the flag itself. So we're gonna start by writing our name at the top, okay? So make sure you hold your pencil the right way, and I'm gonna just write Mrs. Thompson, okay? You can try writing your first and last name because your first name and your last name are both considered sight words in TK, okay? So as you know, our flag has three colors, red, white, and blue, and we've talked about how our flag has 50 stars for the 50 states in the United States, and our flag also has 13 stripes. It has seven red stripes and six white stripes. So seven plus six equals 13. And I'm going to show you how to draw our flag on here to make it really look like your best drawing of the flag. I'm going to start with drawing the blue area, okay? It's gonna be kind of like the shape of a rectangle if you notice that, it looks like a rectangle. So from here, I'm gonna go down and over. And that's the blue shaded area. And I'm gonna color it in. If you notice, I didn't put the stars in here. It's really gonna to be tough to draw 50 white stars in here. So I'm gonna to talk to you about the stars later, but now I want you to notice the stripes, okay? You've got one, two, three, four red stripes that come from the blue area. So I'm going to try to do that next. In order to space out my star, my stripes properly, I'm going to put little red dots, one, two, three, four, right there, so that I get my four red stripes going across from the blue area, and then I'll have room to do three more down here, okay? So that's one, two, three, four. I'm gonna make those stripes next. And I'm just gonna shade across because the top stripe on the flag is supposed to be red. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do that right here. Go across, that's like one, see that's like what it looks like when the flag is kind of folding over in the wind a little bit, like waving in the wind. That's stripe number two, I'm just gonna go down here a little bit. Stripe three. And here's stripe four. Okay, let me stop and fix that up. Now I'm gonna continue down here and there should be three red stripes that start from the left side of the flag. So I did three little lines to help me know it should only be three more and I can color those all the way across. Okay, so I had the very top stripe red and I had the very bottom stripe red to match how it looks like on the flag. And this actually was pretty tricky to do because I had to really think about making sure I didn't do too many stripes, making sure that I had seven red stripes, which I do, which leaves in between six white stripes. Now, this is a little larger here than I wanted, but I'm not gonna cry about it. I'm not gonna start over. I'm not gonna throw my paper away. I'm just gonna say, well, this was tricky and it still looks pretty good, so I'm gonna go with it. As far as the stars go, if you had some little stars you could stick on there, that would work. I still just don't think you're gonna be able to fit 50 in there. So I'm gonna just label something here. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna write 50 stars. And that's how I'm gonna take care of that. Now, looking down at the bottom, we've got some sight words. Some of these are definitely TK sight words, like to and 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 the. But then we also, we've seen the word one before, for sure. 
and probably four, okay? Um, in the title, there's the, the Pledge of Allegiance. So what your job is, is to cut out these words and fit them in where they go, where they make sense in the Pledge of Allegiance. But we're gonna talk a little bit more about these words before you do that. The main words for this project are to, and, and the, which those three we know really well. And then also one and four. One, you've seen before, it is a number, O-N-E. It's also like the number one, all right? And then four is a frequent word you see. This is not the number four though. This actually could mean like as a purpose. So four is F-O-R. And in the Pledge of Allegiance, we use four when we say for which it stands, all right? And we use one in the Pledge of Allegiance when we say one nation. So you have to kind of look at that and think about where are those words going to go. And then these words you already know really well. Okay, I'm ready to start. So after I cut out those words at the bottom, I'm gonna to try to figure out what goes where? And I'm going to start by reading. I pledge allegiance, hmm, the flag. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag. Okay, so I can glue two right in there. What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to just do a dot of glue and then set the word in the box. I decided that two definitely goes in the first box. So I'm gonna set that down. Now it's blobbing out. I probably used a little too much glue. But, so that tells me next time, use less glue. I pledge allegiance to the flag. And then I'm gonna keep going. And you're gonna keep going. And you're gonna keep working on this all by yourself. You have four more to do. And what I recommend you do is before you glue them down, put them where you think they go and let someone at home help you. Check before you glue, okay? And when you're all done with that, I would like you to practice writing one and four a couple times in your TK sight word poetry book. There's paper in there. You can practice writing those a couple times. That would be a good little follow-up practice for these two words. And what I meant when you were done with your Pledge of Allegiance page, I meant for you to open your sight word poetry book. We're all done with all the words in here, but back here's a good spot to practice writing more sight words. And so the new ones that we hadn't really done in this book yet were one and four. So what I was thinking you could do is you could just practice writing them a couple times. I'll write one again under here and one more time under here. O-N-E spells one and then four F-O-R. F-O-R. So I wrote one and I wrote four for a little more practice. I'm really proud of myself. Okay, I'm pretty much done, but I think that I didn't mention why there are 13 stripes. I mentioned that we have 50 stars for the 50 states that we now have, but our country originally started out as 13 colonies. So that's why there are 13 stripes. They each represent the 13 original colonies. That is how our country began. There you have it. Now, you might want to let your paper dry before you do anything with it. Notice there's some wet glue there on mine. So be sure to be careful with it if it's wet. Okay, that's it.